Hey, coming at you with another eco package. This time I wanted to get into the kitchen section of things. And finally, we're gonna try this uh, company I've been wanting to try for a while called uh, Genus Spice. And um, they come with these uh, cool spice jars. They're pretty fancy looking. Um, has their logo on the front and you can even get a custom uh, stamp lid which is pretty cool so you don't have to write on it or have stickers so that's pretty cool these jars are pretty expensive I bought uh, a set of spice uh, jars that were a little bit cheaper so that I just bought that one just as an example of what it looks like that's their large one they have a small and a large one and this is kind of like my receipt and I told them could you please make sure there's no plastic package inside this is yeah zero waste spice jar refill um, you get all these for a certain amount. I think it was like 20, 20 or thirty dollars for all these spices and you get like at least 10. So that's pretty cool because it's like four or five dollars per spice, which is pretty normal if you go to a store and get a bunch of spices. They're usually around three to five dollars depending on if you get actual spice or a cheap one. But anyway, Here's a uh, thank you for shopping with us. Your dinner guests will thank you too. And um, it says the refill bags are not meant for long-term storage. So they, they pretty much want you to put it in these jars as soon as possible, as soon as you get them. But yeah, let's just get into it because they're, they are pretty much into all about zero waste and uh, being eco-friendly. And they're pretty polite about it. And uh, here we go, here's all the uh, spices. The salt and vinegar. I got a bunch of random spices I wanted to try. Stir fry. Montreal steak. Pumpkin pie, ooh. Pizza sprinkle. Bay leaf, I'm gonna put it in my fancy jar over there. Garlic. Curry, cilantro, and coriander. But yeah, I just thought that was really cool that um, pretty much all the spices you get are in these, uh, looks like wax paper, and it has this little craft paper tape. So we're just gonna pop that into our jar real quick. This is our bay leaf jar. So let's go find our bay leaf real quick. And this is what the bay leaf looks like. They have these little wax paper bags. Very compostable. So that's awesome. Usually people get like these uh, spice, you know those little McCormick spice bags people usually get? People usually get those when you want to make something really quick. Ooh, I hope this will fit in here. All the spices I got are large. So, and I already, I only bought one of the jars from their company because their jars are pretty expensive. But I would suggest probably uh, if you want to, ooh, hopefully it can fit in here. I'll just crunch it in there. But if you want to get like a cheaper set of spice jars, because I got like 30 of these with a bunch of labels for like 30 for like I think it was like $25 off of online. I just found another website. It was just cheaper that way because I didn't want to spend like $100 on spice jars because that would be a bit. Ooh, they're really packed in there. I'm going to try to get as much as I can in there because I want to to make sure it's preserved. Ooh, it's a really tight fit. Ooh, popped out. But yeah, here we go. Make sure I don't lose any of my leaves. It's really in there though. Make sure all of it gets in there. There we go. That looks so pretty having to see all your spices like that. They have, this is magnetic, 
So if you get a magnetic plate, they sell the plates on their website where you can stick the plate, I guess, on your refrigerator or a wall, and then they stick onto the plate magnetically. And I thought that was pretty awesome, but I'm a very cheap person, so I got these different ones instead. I hope these spices fit this because I did the math and it says this is supposed to fit inside there, so hopefully they do. Um, I might just try one of them just to be sure. Let me get a chair real quick and pull up so I don't... Like I said, the I got different jars from another website because it was just cheaper that way. I don't know if I can drag the box into the frame or not, but that's what they look like. They're, they're a bunch of tiny little jars. I'm trying not to mess up my little camera stand that I have here, but I'm going to take one of these. And it's just like a plain jar. You can write on it. I have stickers that came with the uh, spice jar kit. And a lot of people are just like, well, I don't like this plastic covering thing. And that's true. I I don't like this covering thing, but to be honest, it is easier to sprinkle stuff in there. So, oh, it's a little hard. I hope that's fine. But it is, from what I hear, these are like really well-made um, spices, so. But when it feels sticky and hard like that, it kind of worries me. So I hope it didn't get messed up in transit. So we're gonna... Comes with a little funnel. Yeah, this kit I got from, a, from the uh, other website, it comes with stickers, it comes with the lids, it comes with a funnel, it comes with uh, everything that you need, so. I thought that was pretty awesome. Make sure you always do the math of uh, your jars. Like these, I believe, are two to three ounce jars. So make sure when you're buying their spices that you get the right size jar for the for their spices too because they smell um they smell <laughs> they uh they sell small and large packages this is their large package and then they sell a small one too oh my god i don't know if it'll fit hopefully it'll fit in there oh gosh See, the thing about this is, it's all about having the right measurements. And they really packed it in there. And I barely just made it. So yeah, that's like pretty much to the T. And I gotta put a label on this so I don't forget what it is. So I'll go like this and I'll put a sticker on it. But yeah, it's a, it's pretty cool. Um, it's, I probably will use them in the future. I mean, I already have spices that are glass. Let me see if I can go get an example. I have like stuff I get from like Walmart. It's like these glass ones. It's like the Great Value, which is like the Walmart brand, or they have McCormick in these glass things too. So if you really were looking for something convenient that you need like right away, then yeah, you can do this. Or if you want to be like super fancy or can't find a certain spice because they have a lot of good spices and a lot of good things as far as uh, spices. So as far as convenience, uh, they have two and two and three day shipping. So if you need it within a couple days, yeah, if you need it the day of, yeah, that probably would be a little bit inconvenient. But overall, I think they're a really cool company. And the fact that if you really want a, uh, well, that's pizza sprinkle in this bay leaf. If you really want a very eco-friendly way of getting spices, then 
yeah, this would be really awesome because they send the spices to you. You can get these fancy jars. I'd probably suggest getting a cheaper jar, but that's totally up to you. But, um, yeah. The only thing when it comes to the ones you buy in store is this little plastic thing, which, I mean, if it really annoys you that badly, then I suppose you can get these and avoid the little plastic cap because that's the only thing that I guess would annoy me because I'm more of a just a big non-plastic person, but it's not really that big of a deal. As long as I'm avoiding those plastic spice bottles, I think that's really what we're looking for is just avoiding the whole all those little tiny plastic little spice bottles. And this company surely, uh, yeah, it avoids it as much as possible. And they talk about how much they're trying to be eco-friendly and how they're, they said they're trying to make a, uh, a sprinkle lid, but they're still experimenting with it because it's kind of hard to put the lid on this with the, if it was like a metal sprinkle thing. But I'm sure if you went on the internet and found some weird metal sprinkle thing, yeah, that would be interesting, but yeah. That's, uh, that's pretty much it. That's the company. And these are the spices. Alrighty, thanks for watching. Have a great day.